what's going on guys we are live how's everybody doing happy friday i know it's a little bit uh, closer to the tail end of friday but we are live to do a little bit of a recap today on kind of what, what went down uh, or what didn't go down um it was a very interesting day today that's for sure um as you guys probably saw on my on my um you know my, my little thumbnail here uh we we tried on all three devices and uh, we couldn't even enter uh, i'm sure a lot of people on ios devices could not enter so we will we'll touch on that i mean it's been an interesting series of events considering the fact we were waiting for this this sneakers pass was supposed to happen a little bit earlier in the day i'm talking like 11 15 you know i'm talking to like 11 11 15 like pst time and then people kept thinking it was going to be pushed over and it got all the way pushed over to like yeah to to much later time you know to to that five o'clock mark that three that, that 3 p.m mark uh but how's everybody doing what's going on let me say hi to everybody in the chat got kevin kevin hawther how you doing man good, good evening from lakeland florida yes as always i hope hope all is well in your neck of the woods happy for you to join the stream as as usual we got mr what's going the building what's good what's good uh, Dendy's in the building. Uh, congrats on W. Yeah, we we will be scooping them up uh, tomorrow. We actually, we hit on a couple pairs, guys. I'm going to be real, you know. I'm uh, going on that lucky streak for sure. Uh, we're, we're, at, we're at three pairs. We're at three pairs, so I'm really hyped on that. Two size 11s and one in the 9.5, my personal size, which we will be wearing. That's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, so shout out to those shops. You know, we pretty much hit, what, ni nice kicks. Uh, we also hit finish line and then we also scoop them up at Chic. If you guys saw the Chic W, let me actually just share it on the screen real quick here. But yeah, you guys, you guys know, okay? Uh, we scoop and you know we scoop, we scoop sneakers up, that's for sure. And we we put in we put in that footwork. That's what we do over here. Uh, let me just find that screenshot. I know I, I I literally just put it aside over here. There we go. All right. So as you guys know, shout out to Chic. We are very, 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 very blessed with this W over here. This was the first W that we did, we did hit. Shout out to Rafi Collects. Uh, he's the one I was watching a stream earlier, and he's like, he's like, he he said he didn't get the notification. I was like, I didn't, I didn't get any notification. You know, typically I would have a notification on from Shake that'd be like, oh hey, or you got an email or something like that. We didn't get anything. We just checked the app, and boom, freaking very blessed over here. So shout out to Sheik. Uh, we will be picking these up tomorrow, uh, you know, whatever whatever time they open. I believe they open at around 11 a.m., so after my live and all that stuff. We'll be scooping these up, and then we'll be featuring these on the channel tomorrow at 7 p.m. PST. So feel free to stop by the channel if you want to see these uh, in, in, in hand, at least as close as, uh, you know. Uh, I'm hoping you guys got pairs, too. Don't get me wrong. But shout out to everybody in the building. We got uh, got Real, Green, uh, Real Gaming Night 4 in the building. What's up? What's up? Hey, hey Louis Money, how are, is everybody? What's going on? You guys, you guys know it. We put in that footwork, so we did solidify three pairs, and that's really a testament to, I think I believe I put in anywhere from 12 to 15 entries with the footwork, you know what I mean? Like going to shops, putting in entries and all that stuff, and we got, uh, we got you know, this, and then we got two, we got two calls today, so, whoo, we're good. We're very good. Very blessed indeed. Uh, the White Soul in the building, what's up? How are you doing? What's going on? What is up? We just, we, we, we about to talk about, what the hell went on? What the hell went on today? Sheesh, today was a bit of an interesting day. So yeah, we uh, we tried on all three, you know, all three of our accounts, and we couldn't even enter. I know a lot of people everywhere, and I I, I was even kind of concerned to even like look on sneaker Twitter because I know a lot of people are really pissed. Now I want to let you guys know um, the plan of attack tomorrow. Okay, now because of what happened, because of what happened here. There's a lot of people who are pissed. I can't say I'm as pissed because I got some W's, you know? I mean, I got as many W's as you see on the screen here. We, we got three in the bag. Again, this is not to show off. This is to let you guys look. Know that we cop sneakers here. We, we put in the footwork, and, and I want to be a testament that you guys can do it too, okay? Um, so what, what I want to let you guys know is because of this, because of what happened yesterday, I think this is going to kind of create a little bit of a ripple effect on the the anger that is going to go into tomorrow's drop okay so i'm just gonna just just let, let, let that sit with you guys for a second i think there's going to be a lot of people who are already pissed off um because of just a series of events and yes many w's have been handed out already thus far from the from the ea and then you know the um uh, what was it exclusive yeah the exclusive access and then the shock drop okay so we, we there's already in that and then 
W's are all also rolling out, okay? But I'm seeing multiple people also hit on like three or four pairs, okay? So that's gonna eat into stock that, you know, individuals that don't have a pair, uh, you know, it could go to that person that doesn't have that pair. So what's gonna, what's that gonna lead to? It's gonna be, it's gonna lead to tomorrow, the resale price driving a little bit high. I'm not gonna say it's gonna go astronomical, but I'm saying there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna just rage cop tomorrow. And I think it's because of the series of events of what happened here. So what happened today, as you guys probably know already, is that Android users ended up hitting because they there wasn't this blocker, okay? Uh, I, I, it just seems like it was an iOS problem. I don't think it has to do with the update. A lot of people were like, oh, you updated your app. You're kind of SOL. You're not going to be able to, to purchase it. I had one on my iPad that was not updated yet, and I still couldn't enter, okay? So I'm not saying just because of my situation that, you know, I really think it was an iOS problem is what I'm trying to say. I really do think it was an iOS problem. Real Gaming says I took an L Chic app and and show and shop WSS waiting on Foot Locker shipped to me. Yeah, I'm waiting on Foot Locker too. Again, I'm just full sending it here. We're going to find out how many more pairs depending on, you know, uh, because we just, we just entered a bunch of contests. A couple contests, if you guys don't already know that is still live right now. It's going to be stashed SF so that you still have the opportunity to go for men's pairs and grade school if you do decide to do that. And then I also do want to let you guys know that they did open a contest for the pink paisies as well, which I would highly, highly recommend joining that one. Uh, stashed SF. All right. Give me a second here. It's nice to be back. I, I know I've been a little MIA this week, but uh, we've, we, we've been busy. We've been busy with a bunch of stuff. Okay. Your, your, your boy, your boy over here has got a, you know, full, full, full time job outside of this. Um, but it would be nice to wake up one day and do, do this more full time. That's for sure. So let me go ahead and just bring over here on the screen. Uh, there we go. Okay. So as you guys may know, or may not know, uh, these pink paisleys are live for the drawing on stash SF. I would highly recommend joining on this larger sizes. Um, or heck even, even that size is like seven women's is definitely a good size as well. Uh, because this is, this is definitely a good reseller for sure. It's a great summer sneaker, uh, regardless if you're, you know, I mean, if your intention is to resell this or, or gift it to a special somebody in your in your life, you know, I think this is definitely a good scoop. That's for sure. Just need one pair. Yep, 100%. Android, go ahead. You know, it, it's crazy because here we are. Uh, well, I, I, I'm speaking for myself and I, iOS users. I feel like a lot of us, we make fun of the green bubble. You know what I mean? And then who's taking the W's today? The green bubble guys. You know what I mean? So, so, so yeah, I just find it funny. Um, yeah, I, look. I feel like tomorrow is going to be a little bit of a, a, a madhouse, um, but we will be going live. I'll be live at about 6 a.m. PST, uh, 9 a.m. EST. So if you want to swing by, you know, show some support. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to the seven in the building. You guys know it. We got uh, decaf coffee in hand, so cheers up if you guys happen to have a drink in your hand. You guys know it. We, we're always on the grind. We ain't going to stop. Uh, Christian 2K in the building. Yo, Christian, I I, I heard you, you you told me you got you got two pairs. Congrats, man. Congrats on the two pairs. Let me know if you hit any more on that. And, um, and, and yeah. Cheers up. Cheers up for sure. You guys know it. We are always busy to some extent, but, um, you know, I love this community. I think it's an amazing community, and I want to be able to kind of, like, talk about what went on today because I feel like today was just kind of crazy, you know, with the, like, with the delay of the sneaker pass. It was like, is it still happening? You know, there was notifications going on, sneaker Twitter, all this stuff on it it going live a lot sooner in the day and then for it to go to the tail end was kind of like it got people excited because they i'm sure a lot of people already probably you know doing something else with their with their day you know i probably out and about and then you know this new kind of went out that hey it's actually happening and then it actually happened and and it was just like it, it was crazy because I, I remember over here it said sold out there was like a bug in the system and then people couldn't even get past the screen it just like literally, if you click on the screen, it would just literally say sneakers pass uh, FAQ and you could not even like enter it. So it was just like the weirdest thing. I know a lot of people are blowing up sneakers and really pissed off right now. Um, I hope, I'm hoping tomorrow is going to be, I don't know, <laughs> just give us a freaking opportunity here, you know. Um, your Tiffany's uh, come in yet. You know what's crazy? Uh, so for the Tiffany's that I hit, guys, for those that don't know, we did scoop up some Tiffany's through through the sneakers app. So shout out to the sneakers app to some extent. It's definitely been been doing me me some justice, especially with those um with those Wolf Grey Dunks that that W my first SBW and then the, the Tiffany's. So I got a little bit of a scared message, which was 
uh, there is a delay in shipment or something like that. And I was like, oh God, like, like these better come in. And then we got, we got shipping confirmation. We got shipping confirmation today. The Tiffany's are on their way. Uh, expect a review from me, like a, a solid edited content review from me. I know it's been a while since I've done some edited content, but you guys know we're on the, we're on the, the, uh, the chase for watch hours. And that's why we've been going live. We've just been going live consistently since, since July of last year. So appreciate all you guys, all your real ones rocking with me, but because I do want to get to a point in this channel with this channel where we're monetized and then I can start focusing on edited content. Cause I, I do really feel like edited content is, is the way. Okay. I know that reviews don't do, uh, aren't as successful as they maybe used to be in the past, but I think it really comes down to how you do it and your target audience as well. Um, Stash SF, yeah, thanks for sharing that. I appreciate you, Mr. Old School. So let me just go back real quick, okay? Let me dial it back. We do ha still happen to have some raffles. So these will be ending. Some of these will be ending tonight, I believe. Obviously, the reimagined. Join those if you have not already. I'm trying to remember top of mind. I know earlier in the week on Tuesday, we went live and then I pretty much shared as much information as I could in terms of where to go, what to do. And like, look, we got, we got three dubs out of all that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I shared it on my, on my community page. Give me one second, actually, real quick. And let me just actually pull it up here. Uh, yeah, cause I, I think fe feature might still be live as well. So let's go ahead and just check that real quick. Again, I just want to help out as many people as, as possible. So if you happen to have any questions about this release and what to do, we're going to go over that because I think there's some things that are overlooked when it comes to sneakers app. Okay. Uh, you know, and we've been long time users of sneakers app. Trust me. Okay. Since 2015, not to date myself here. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we know certain ins and outs and what to do and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, what's good, everybody. Okay. Let me go ahead and just, let me go ahead and just go into my community page here. Okay. So, so yes, as I did share over here, we're very, very, very blessed indeed. Shout out again to Sheik. We'll be picking that up literally once they open the doors. But yeah, literally, we've been running around, putting all those entries in. We literally, I think this day alone, this day, two days ago, I put in a total of at least 13 entries. Like, I'm, I'm talking all over, like running around, going to different shops, and like 13 entries. So from the 13 entries, we ended up with a total of three. I think that's pretty damn good, okay? Two size 11s, one size 9.5. Fire, you know? We just needed one. Again, shout out to... Nike for this diamond in the rough. I know 37,000 pairs. It seems to be a lot of pairs, but these seem to be, you know, resale seems, seems to be holding. Now you're probably wondering, what am I going to do with my Tiffany? We're holding it. We're hanging on to it. That's for sure. Okay. So let me go ahead and just bring this up over here. I just want to share this again with you guys. So uh, let me actually double check if Amamanier is still live. I believe Amamanier still should be live for anybody. Yeah. So Amamanier is still live. Social status is still live as well. Stash, as I did mention, feature, I believe is also still up and running. Let me go. Oh, draw close, draw close. Oh no, oh no, they're starting to close. What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? It means tomorrow's gonna be a big day, okay? We're gonna find out how many how many doves we got. Uh, for feature, I was able to put two entries in for that. So, so again, sign up for Stash if you haven't already. Detail R as well, I believe also does happen to have one. Um, let me actually go ahead and just open that up here. Uh, detail R, yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if the contest already ended or what the deal was. I, I don't believe I was able to enter for this one specifically. I think it was in store. Um, but if you're able to enter, awesome, you know, good luck. And then I believe, and might and be, and, and might be ending soon. I know this kind of sounds weird to say, but, uh, yeah, it's going to end in about four hours. So you still happen to have end as well. Again, this is just a recap of today's horrible, horrible sneakers pass because nobody got to enter it. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated. I get it. Okay. Um, I'm frustrated too, because it could have, it could have led to another, another dub. We're not trying to be greedy here. Okay. I also want to be able to help out my community as best we can, uh, with all the information. Christian says, man, looks like Nike made so many pairs with the threes after what happened and the loss and founds drop. I don't know what tomorrow's going to be like, but, uh, I'm really hoping they're going to be kind to us. Now I wanted to mention this. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a little bit of a sidestep over here. Okay, I, I know these aren't doing too well on the aftermarket. Um, I know these aren't do too well on the aftermarket, but we ended up taking a dub. We take we took another W. Okay, let me actually just share this on the screen. We took another W from DSG. Okay, I didn't realize until I double checked my email and boom, we hit another one. Now the pair arrived. Okay, with some quality issues. Okay, you guys may might be wondering what quality issues are you talking about. 
Well, my my freaking pair, my my third pair came with some mold on the back. I don't know what's going on with where they're storing these or what the deal is, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. Guys, check your pairs, okay? Triple, double check your pairs, okay? I'm, I'm saying if you got if you got multiple of these or what the deal is, just check your pairs, okay? Now, I'm not gonna keep this. This has mold in it, so I'm you know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to them and say, hey, just letting you guys know. These are some photos I took. Da da da. These are my shoes. Uh, because uh, again, we're we're good. We're good on these. I, I love these sneakers a lot. I know there's there's not there's not much resale, but we're sneakerheads at the end of the day, and we ended up scooping two of those. We're good. I didn't really, you know, wish to have another one, but we 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 did. We ended up hitting on another pair, and then it has some quality issues. I'm just a little bit like. Hey yo, hey yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Uh, when this DSG charges go out tomorrow, it should be, it should come out. See, so like I, I prefer a dub on the reimagined versus this, 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 uh, this, uh, what is it? This uh, U, UNC and moldy, <laughs> UNC and moldy. Uh, I, I know, pretty bad, pretty bad. Anyway, look, I just wanted to share this with you guys because this, this literally just happened. Okay, this literally just happened. You, you, it's interesting because I, I didn't think that these that the UNC five would happen to have mold until I got a pair. So check your pairs, okay? Because I would prefer you guys are able to get refunds or exchanges or whatever. You know, like while you notice that there, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure DSG should do something. There's got to be some quality issues, but this is what happened, okay? I had a conversation today with one of the staff at Nike. I was like, hey. Like, I'm really curious about like the quality on, 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 you know, on the quality on like these fives and stuff like that. Like, you know, I recently got one from DSG that had some mold on it. So I talked to them and they're like, they're like, yeah, it's been happening with not just this. It's also been happening with the playoff 13s. He he admitted, he's like, yeah, a couple playoff 13s also did happen to have some, you know, playoff and moldy or whatever, you know? So Check your pairs, okay? Uh, it, it sucks. I don't know what's causing all of this. I think it's where Nike's storing these things, okay? It really, it really is. It's a, it's kind of a big deal. Now, there's no word on the reimagines and moldy or anything like that. So, you know, let's just kind of hold it. But I know that there are quality issues on these. And this is why I'm going for as many pairs as possible because I want to be able to have a really clean pair when it comes to the reimagined threes, okay? Also... Check the qual uh, quality control on all your pairs tomorrow. Herd quality is horrible with elephant print. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I plan on doing. But also, like honestly, um, I don't want to sound like that guy that's gonna return to anything to, to Nike. Let's say hypothetically we we hit on a we hit on a pair tomorrow uh, during the live. Okay, at, at sneakers, uh, if if we do happen to get like a pair that's just really bad quality from another store, but it's the same size, I'll just I'll just I'll just return that one at Nike to be honest. Uh, I mean, the thing about this is we can mix and match sneakers, you know what I mean? Which is a good thing, but also I want to know how many... So tomorrow, during my live in the evening, when I get to show you, we'll, we'll go through each single pair that I have, the size 11s and the, the, the 9.5, and we could talk a little bit about the quality that I got. Uh, SB Romy in the building, yo, shout out to SB Romy. I was able to enter a sneakers pass on my wife's phone. If you updated your sneakers app, it didn't work for you. So only Androids, not updated, uh, not not updated Apple's. Yeah, uh, SB Romy, I want to mention you. My I had one, my iPad uh, was not updated. It was not updated uh, to the new version of sneakers, but I still couldn't get through. So I don't know what it was. But I think you're right. You know, you know it's funny. It's funny because here here I am as a you know sneaker content creator, and I'm telling everybody update your apps, update your apps, and then like something like this happens where it's like. Oh, you updated your, your app. Oh, you're kind of SOL. You know what I mean? So it's it's like nobody really knows. Nobody really knows what's what's going on. And then we, we've had some streamers who are like the moment they found out that the sneakers pass was going off, they let everybody know about it. And then it didn't even work. So it's like, you, like who who's to know what the hell's really going on? I mean, how, see, I didn't even tell you guys about it. And like, it, it kind of makes me feel like it kind of makes me feel like like good in a way because then it's like I didn't tell anybody and then nothing happened. You know what I mean? As opposed to me notifying everybody and then you yeah, just wasted your time. You know? I'm not saying it was a waste of time. I'd rather go. I'd rather be live when I can go live, and I'd rather let you guys know when I know. Um, I didn't know that this was going to be a complete failure. You know? Otherwise, I would have told my my sister, "Hey, you you're an Android user. Can you enter up for me?" Right? Uh, Carrington, uh, smart move, lol. Uh, switch out 
uh, left shoes and right every time. Yeah. Now here's the thing. If I'm so we got three pairs, two size 11s, one size 9.5. If I'm able to scoop up another 9.5, I'm you bet I'm gonna inspect the pairs and keep the one that's a little bit more on the cleaner side, you know, or mix and match the elephant prints. I did I did that with uh, I I did it with some other. I, uh, it was the fire reds. I did it with the fire reds too. I think we scooped up like three 9.5s. I, cho I chose the best pairs. We ended up just keeping that, you know. Um, uh, speaking of fire reds, I believe Snipes ended up having a restock to today for for a quick, and then you know they came and went. Uh, we got Pedro Pedro Pina Belling. How you doing? What's going on? Manny Martins. What's going on? Mister Old School. Yeah. Hey, everybody's showing up. What's going on? I got 13 people in the building. Again, guys, we're just talking about like the 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 you know the, the excuse my French, but the, the the shit show that went on today. Like it was like a no show. It was like. Nike kind of teasing us in a way like hey like we're doing a sneakers pass everybody went on and it was just like they, you just couldn't get on you know you couldn't you, so they know they knew it was a problem but it was a little too late because it was like you couldn't enter for the entirety of the time not nothing nobody got in unless you had Android or an unupdated Apple devices from what I'm what I'm seeing over here so I appreciate you guys letting me know this information because again like I don't expect to know <laughs> we got bong bong in the building Ah, uh, many Martins with the with the bong bong. Uh, when do uh, when do DSG charges go out? That's a good question. I think it's probably good. well. Uh, you know, let me actually double check uh, when when mine went out. Uh, because it was it was on a whole separate email. Uh, it was on a it was an it was on an email that I I, I don't I don't check very often. So let me actually double check. I got notified on la last Saturday at eleven oh eight p.m. is when I found out. So if you got, so I'm just letting you guys know that don't don't think you completely took an L to, tomorrow. DSG rolls out rolls out. Um, yeah, it was Saturday. So, uh, yeah, the uh, what is it? Saturday the fourth at about 11:08 p.m. is when I got my notification. I don't I don't make this stuff up. I do not make this stuff up. Um, and so they're probably gonna roll out W's tomorrow, pretty late in the in the evening. Okay, so don't 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 tell me like oh you you got L's and then you sign up at DSG and then you don't hear anything because it's they're, they're most likely like that's PST time. So most likely if you are EST, you're probably gonna find out like the next day. You're gonna find out Sunday. You know, uh, you want the ball? What's what's up? Yo, Adrian Sanchez, not for the price. Yeah, uh, the 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 ball. I think it's more of a collector's item. I'm not the biggest fan. I think there's too much elephant print on it for, for my liking. I think it's cool, but uh, are you using it as a, as a you know, something to keep in your room as a display piece? Or are you gonna actually use it, okay? I know I know the quality should be pretty decent on this. Uh, and it does go hand in hand, obviously, with the white cement reimagines. These will sell out, for sure. But uh, for, for, for the price of this, yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass. It also does come with a, a stand. Uh, but I think it's going to be a pass, um, hundred percent pass for me. I'd rather just get a regular, you know, a regular, I just rather get a regular basketball. Come on. You can pay 150 bucks. It's, it's just too much, but it's cool. It's, it's a, it's a pretty piece. It's a pretty piece. looks like a regular ball. Yeah. Um, which with the elephant print and you know, it kind of has a reimagined look to it to some extent. Shout out to the 15 in the building guys. If you could just take a moment, smash that like button. It definitely helps the channel more than you guys realize. So again, today was... I mean, it's hard because today's Friday, you know? It's like everybody's supposed to be excited, you know what I mean? Like tomorrow's a huge day. We will be going live 6 a.m. tomorrow, so feel free to swing on by. If you guys are up early, we'll be cheersing it up in the morning with coffee in hand for sure. Uh, Manny Martin says, I copped the Puma in Staple Pigeon Yellow colorway today. Ooh, interesting. I, did, I, I, don't, recall, I don't recall seeing that. Um, but con congrats. Was it a, was it, was it, uh, was it a decent, was it, a, was it a decent, um, I mean, did they sell out? What was the deal? Let me see this. Are they even sold out? They're probably sold out. Ooh, no, they're still they're still there. Let me let me double check this. Okay, uh, they're not bad. They're they're I'm I'm not hating. I'm not hating. They're a little on the louder side, that's for sure. So they still happen to have some stock over here on Puma.com, but just interesting. Okay, uh, glad your pairs are already secured for tomorrow. You think sneakers would would be a mess tomorrow? Yes, sneakers is gonna be uh, sneakers is gonna be a shit show. Um, and the, like, okay, the reason why, the reason why I think it's, sneakers is going to be pretty hard. I, I don't think it's going to be a repeat of the lost and found. Um, 
release where it was like nobody could get in and then it's you know like i really wish that they're gonna that they were gonna improve their app but i think it's like with what happened today and not even being able to get get able to enter i th i think tomorrow people are going to enter but think about how many people are angry right now there's a lot of people who are pretty, pretty pissed so they're going to wake up tomorrow with some vengeance especially especially if they haven't already secured a pair we are very fortunate for anybody here in the chat who's already hit i know you guys are like okay i'm good secured my pair secured you know like I, I like the moment i the first dub i got today the moment i checked that size 9.5 i'm like whew, we're good we're good i'm like i can breathe because this guy ain't being resell hell no hell to no that's for sure uh there's a clean yeah no they, they they are a clean pair of pumas for sure just a little i mean it's kind of weird for me to say they're a little too loud for my liking when you see we got some we got some colors back here you know what i mean uh, I think nothing will beat the hype of the Lost and Founds. Thousand percent, Christian. I I, I completely agree with you. Um, yeah, and and look, like people are wondering, what are these going to do on the aftermarket? Is there resale? Look, I see, I see this as a good long term hold, but a quick seller, like sell them same day. Okay, like for me, I should already have people ready to buy my size 11s. You know, size 11s is to me. Is, is is the goaded pair now it's not no longer size 13 anymore so trust me you, you look in the aftermarket size 13s don't typically do what they used to do you know they used to like flip quickly sell for more money i think right now size 11 and size 12 are the pairs to go for hopefully without quality issues right um yeah sneakers pass today was a complete joke i mean tr tr trust me we where is that? Uh, oh no, this is like the <laughs> the, the UNC and Moldy. Um, yeah, I mean, we tried on all. Like we were we were ready to go, ready to go, full force today, and we just couldn't even enter anything. It was insane. Okay, so what? Where we're gonna recreate this tomorrow? We're gonna try it. Try again. Now the sizes I'm probably gonna gonna go to t for tomorrow are, are gonna be my, my size. And like again, the reason why is because of all this quality control issues in the in the on in the marketplace i'd prefer to be able to pick and choose and you know and then like if i have to like flip one or whatever keep the best pair that's the plan we we want a clean pair like this is a this is a it's a this is a must-have sneaker but it's a must-have sneaker in some pristine condition you know without the quality issues okay because some people receive some without any quality issues so i'm like it can be done this is why you got to get a lot of pairs if you can, if you can afford to do so. Christian 2K says those threes will go up like like forty dollars tomorrow. Yep, everybody's gonna panic. Yep, yep, yep. You, you guys, this is this is the same thing, okay? I mean, look, this is a perfect example. This isn't really doing anything in the aftermarket right now, okay? So the the, the sneaker market's at this, this weird place right now, and uh, you know, this this is for like lunch and dinner money tomorrow, okay? If you're able to sell same day, that's the plan. But also, come on, like just scoop them up for yourself. Like, like that's really what it should be. The hype of the AJ1 breads was double from the lost and founds. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and I know Jordan One hype isn't Jordan uh, Air Jordan Air Jordan One hype isn't what it used to be. I mean, for me, it's still the same. Like I love Air Air, Air Jordan One highs. It's still one of my favorite silhouettes. Um, getting a pair for the whole family. Let's go, Manny. That's what's up. <laughs> I love to hear it. Yeah, get everybody dressed up in these for sure. Because, I mean, they, they got them. Now, I'm going to let you guys know my plans on these, okay? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off. After me finding out, I scooped up some pairs. Men's sizes tomorrow. We're good. I, uh, I what, what's the right term? I, I pulled out from some of the contests I joined for GS. I just did because I'm just like, I don't think there's going to be much money on this. I just don't. I don't think it's a safe investment. 150 bucks to your door with some of these some of these you know places 170 with tax and stuff. I don't know. I just think about profit margins and I, I'm like depending on where you're selling it, you're probably not going to net that much, you know. Um, so I'm just letting you guys know when's the Tiffany coming in. Uh, it's a good question. Um, I need to double check tracking. I, I should I should know that right. I should be like oh yeah it's ha it's happening right. Uh, exactly here but it, it did ship today so i'm expecting to have it probably in two to three days hopefully um so we we shall see okay but expect me to go live expect me to cover maybe five dollar profit there you go yeah so so save your money i'd pass a completely pass on the gs unless you want to unless you happen to have somebody you want to you know 
hook up with 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 that that is a size seven you know whether it's a a brother or a sister or you know a girlfriend who happen to have, has a, a size size seven foot apparently size seven is very popular with the women's which is why this pair over here this pink paisley i think size seven women is probably going to do the best i personally think so 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 join up on this i really do think that size or larger sizes such as 11 uh I'm trying to remember what this runs up up to. It's a 10.5 men. So you know, this runs up until size 12 women's. That's size men's uh, 10.5. Uh, hopefully you're not getting a uh, laser ship delivery. <laughs> Dude, hopefully not. I'm going to have to double check that. Actually, let me see if I can actually just see that see that right now on my on my sneakers app. Uh, I won't show anything on screen, obviously, because, you know, this, this is a pretty pricey pair, that's for sure. But uh, it says order shipped. Order shipped, as you see. Oh, I think I can show this. I can show. I can show that it says, order shipped. I mean, literally, these are my last two dubs on sneakers. Order shipped. Order confirmed. And then we also happen to have that too. The, uh, the gray wolf. So uh, let me look into it real quick while I got I got you here. Track shipment. Let's find out. I'm trying not to sweat bullets over here. It's looking like Monday, guys. I told you, two days, two three days. Okay. Yeah, three days is what it's looking like, okay? Uh, all right, crossing fingers. It's not laser ship, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> God. All funny games and Dilmatics as your package. Shit, man, hey, look, uh, final boss time. It's the final boss time. Crossing fingers, crossing fingers, it's all smooth. Shout out to all you guys rocking me. Appreciate all you guys. We have such an amazing community here, honestly, like, and I, I know my my channel still one of like the the smaller channels here, but uh, we we like to think we know what we're doing to some extent. That's for sure. Isn't laser ship East Coast thing? You know, laser ship used to be really bad because it was managed really bad. I believe the the uh, like the main the main guy running it was like backdooring a bunch of stuff and like keeping packages and stuff. I don't know if it's the same case anymore, but I, I, I don't know. You guys let me know if you've heard of, uh, if Nike's still even using laser ship. I think, I think they, they, they pulled away last I heard, but, uh, we shall see. I know FedEx also does happen to have some issues too, because guys, look, the guys who are de delivering packages, like they, they know what's up. Some of them are sneakerheads too. Like they know, they know. Okay. Um, but yeah, just wanted to touch on that. God. And then uh, anything smaller than this, again, just get them if you're going for, you know, the personal for your family or what have you. But uh, big, big, big day tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm a little, I'm a little concerned on what this is going to be like tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just take a deep breath and just, just shoot your shot. You know what I mean? Also, let's not try to rely on sneakers anymore. Look at all the dubs I got. I relied heavily, heavily on footwork, you know? Because I knew, I know, like I wanted to treat this kind of like a, like I wanted to treat it like a lost and found drop. Think about, I got two W's, lost and found. Size 12, size 9.5. Chic, nice kicks. What, ha what happened today? Nice kicks called me. Chic notified me, okay? And then we just so happened to hit another one. Uh, finish line. So this is why... You just got to plan your plan of attack. It, it, you, it's not always going to be a sure shot, but it's like the more you try, the the more opportunities you're going to have to you're going to have at your disposal to to, to hit. Okay, um, FedEx is the new laser ship. God, you guys are making me sweat here. We got UPS, FedEx in, in, in California is still a problem. Hey man, like again, like like look, I I know I know it's a lot of money because like the four hundred that I spent or the 420 that I sp the 420 that I spent on, on the Tiffany's uh you know what like what what are what are what are these Tiffany's going on for the aftermarket I believe it's still over a thousand that's that's like rent money for a lot of people man you know what I mean so like just don't don't get me wrong don't don't get me wrong that there's gonna be some guys checking your package like hey you know is there that blue box in it like I would not be surprised but again like we do still believe to some extent in the the the, the uh you know that there are good people out there like we we do we still believe it believe it or not um oh wow they actually did drop a little bit let's bring it over here we had a feeling that something like this was going to happen what was it i called it i said anywhere from eight what 800 850 to maybe 900 950 and look at that last sale 
somebody caved in, somebody needed that money, is what it is. I would probably most likely be holding this. Honestly, this is a collector's piece. It's not worth it, man. Like if you, you like literally the price on this was anywhere from like one four to one six at a time, and now you're seeing them dip dip this like dip to this. Now, what are my thoughts in terms of like holding or like selling quickly? I don't know. I'm using my best judgment in terms of well, fortunately we did hit our size, so part of me doesn't mind keeping this to be honest. It's a collector's item. Um you hit a noble today for your second pair of AJ threes. Yo, congrats, man. That's awesome. Your shout out to everybody who hit a dub already. Because it's going to give you a little bit more, like, I don't know, just, like, you can wake up tomorrow, just, you know, and just try again on sneakers if you want to. And it's like, you're not going to feel as, like, anxious about getting your, your getting that W, you know? It's like another chance, you know what I mean? And then when you, and then when you, if you do happen to go for your size again, then when you get both pairs, you know, you can compare which one you want to keep and what have you. I don't want to be picky, but when you find out things have quality issues, you're going to want to be picky. Because, you know, we want we want the best bears. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, yo, what's good, G-Face? How are you? We're just going live, you know, just shooting in for what it, what it is. Christian says, wouldn't sell the Tiffany's for less than 1000 I'm on the same page. For me, I wouldn't sell anywhere less than, like, like you know, 11, 1100 if anything. Passing to say what's up. Smash that like button. Hey, you know what it is, G-Face. Appreciate you. You guys know what? We're bringing this channel to the freaking moon, baby. Slowly but surely, we are going to get there. It's just a matter of time. Got to trust the process. Too many people give up easily, you know? Uh, and what I mean by give up easily is YouTube knows. YouTube knows that the moment YouTube starts to pay uh, pay you rice and beans, the moment you finally get monetized, uh, the people give up because they're like, oh, this isn't worth it, you know what I mean? But you got to be in it for the long haul. You got to be in it, you know? And we're not going anywhere anytime soon, you know? Like, uh, trust, trust me. Like, it's like, if you aren't in it, you, you, like for the love of sneakers and the community, you, you're 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 not going to be in it long. And and people people can s sniff that out if you're like, if you're really into it and you really love sneakers, you, you you'll be here. You just show up, you know. Um, but if you're not, you're just going to be either left behind. You're not going to be willing to wake up every day and go live and put in the effort and all this stuff, and be dialed in, you know and we're dialed in because this stuff matters and i want to talk to you guys about kind of what's going on my thoughts on everything now everybody goes live everybody talks about similar stuff but it's like we're all our own brand at the end of the day we have different uh pieces of the pie that we bring to the community i like to think my you know my yo-yo experience alongside skateboard experience and 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 you know fashion and style experience being able to have the opportunity to have worked at louis vuitton and have insights into lv uh, and within the sneaker community as well. I've worked at Converse as well. Like, I got some product knowledge you know, up my sleeves. You know what I mean? And we'll talk about that and we'll share that with you guys. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, an another thing that uh, I was listening to New York Dad pretty recently, and he mentioned about how um, how he wants to be known for copping sneakers. And, and I don't know what better testament to tell you guys. We cop sneakers here. Like, I feature sneakers. Like, we get them in the building, Okay. I'm, you know, and this is not to compare myself to other YouTubers that like just like just show you stuff on the screen and aren't actually able to, to hit. Everybody has their own style. Everybody has their own like you know, uh, you know, fi financial si si situation. Not many people are always able to like scoop up sneakers, you know. But you see the sneakers in front. Like I cop sneakers. Like we get them, okay. And this is why I know I can help you guys because we do it. We get them in the building. We do it. Uh, I'm serious, rice and beans, man. Yeah. Uh, once we finally get monetized, I don't expect to get like the, the biggest check from YouTube. Like, if if anything, it would be nice to get a check and be able to host a giveaway. You know. Um, as a sneakerhead, the Tiffany's are not worth the hype. I, I agree. I agree. I have them for the wife in hand, and they're okay. Yeah. You know. Some people are gonna be like super fans of the Tiffany's. I think. I think honestly, like the biggest thing on this is gonna be this. This little back tab here, that little shiny, shiny. A party wants to take this off and turn into a keychain, to be honest. I think that, that would be kind of like a bigger flex to have something around the neck. It's like, yeah, it's Tiffany, you know? I'll, I'll drill a little hole right through this and turn it into like a little keychain, you know? I'll still wear the sneakers, but it would be like, you know, it's like, yeah, I took the plate off, you know? <laughs> I took both plates off and I like, it would be kind of cool because it, it is, it is silver. It's Tiffany silver. 
to like i don't know to get something made using it that would be kind of cool um but a part of me is also considering you know and you can you can call me a you know a you can call me a a a, uh, a hype beast or whatever a part of me is considering getting that extra plate up here because then all of a sudden the pair isn't just worth 400 it's worth 650 all of a sudden just because i added that extra plate you know um now is that the best use of money probably not but it's like look if you already got the shoes in hand might as well complete the shoes um those plates are going for a little hefty price on ebay so the the, the plates retail for about 250 and online right now they're reselling for 400 to 500 dollars i'm not willing to spend that much i think the most i'd spend on that plate is probably 280 yeah i don't know i mean is it even worth it it's a lot of money that that i could that could go to a new pair of you know kicks it could go to a new pair of fours you know like one of the fours that are going to drop in, in in the coming months um but I, again i'm just i'm just shooting it for what it is i'm letting you guys know we I'll, i want to be the judgment i, I want to give this shoe its judgment the moment we have it in hand okay but i know that my live on this is going to do decent because people are, are researching this on the after you know they're looking at it they want to know what it's about and uh i, I really didn't i didn't think we were going to hit I, like th that morning I literally was like, you know what, whatever, we'll just try, and if we hit, cool, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you if you watch the live, I'm like, kind of like, I'm like, like, I didn't really know how to react. I was like, I was shocked, I was excited, but I was also like, oh, did we just actually hit that? <laughs> like, what happened? 37,000 pairs or 38,000 pairs is a lot, but with the amount of demand that people were going after these, I just didn't think it was gonna be likely to actually hit these. Uh, materials are soft, uh, what the hell? 550 for a lace piece yeah no 550 is insane no we we would not go for that um again even 250 is a stretch i thought that that lace piece that little late that little silver plate uh uh the little sil silver silver uh piece the dubra or dubre or whatever you call it let me see uh tiffany nike uh air force let me go ahead and just see uh let me go ahead and just see if we are able to just pull that up. Yeah, because I, I just want to share it again on the screen. I know you guys have seen it time and time again. It's the Dubray. There we go. Okay, let me bring it on over here. So, uh, most I believe everything here is already sold out, okay? Now, the whistle, I can see as a decent fashion accessory, but, like, what? Are you going to give this as a present to your, your girlfriend or, your, or, you know, <laughs> somebody in your family? And they're going to be, like... They're going to be annoying you by blowing this whistle all freaking day. Like, like, just shoot me, please. But this is it, okay? Now, these retail for $250 on the site. Now, if you click on the site right now and we click into this, uh, well, it says sold out, okay? So you can't even click into it anymore. But this was $250. I believe this was, like, close to $400. God. No. That's too much. Like, I wouldn't even pay, I wouldn't even pay $150 bucks for this. Well, maybe the chain would be sick. I just don't know what I would do with a whistle. It's a fashion accessory at the end of the day. You know, it's a Tiffany brand fashion accessory. And then the shoehorn. I believe the shoehorn was like, what was the shoehorn? It was like 300 bucks or something. And then the toothbrush was like 380 or something. Just crazy. I mean, yes, it, these are collector's item, okay? They didn't come with the sneaker. So if you wanted to buy it, you buy it, you buy it on that, you buy it, you know, extra. And I believe they dropped this. Same day that Nike was going to do the drop, they did it like early. They did it at like five in the morning or something like that. I don't know why they did it at that time. I kind of, part of me wishes I was up so I could have scooped this up. But hey, it is what it is. We keep it moving. Because on, on the aftermarket right now, these are doing like four to $500 for this. Nah. Hell no. Early prediction for the rating, 10 out of 10. Count it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Christian says, I get my wolf grade tomorrow. Let's freaking go, man. I'm, 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 I'm hyped you're getting those. Uh, RO says true. Hey, I'm, we're just we're shooting for what it is. Come on, guys. Let's just be real. Out of all these accessories, if you had to choose one, what would it be? Okay, this makes the most sense. Okay, especially if you cop the sneakers, you're gonna want to get this because then you can kind of complete. It. You got your AF1 Tiffany. It's right there, front smack center when you're walking around rocking these. Okay, it just looks a little like. Look at this. What is that? Like, it just, this looks just kind of cheap, you know? Like, wh why couldn't they have just given this to us? Like, come on. Like, holy, ho, ho, yo, 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 give me a second here. Hello? Hello? 
Yeah, yeah, this is Ernest. How's it going? Is this the shoe palace? Hey, how you doing? I, I'm doing... Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is this about the reimagine? Yep, I was planning on doing 9.5 tonight. Any screens that would be small? 9.5. I'm, yeah, you, you bet I'm going to be there, man. Be there, be square. You know it. Yep, you got my ID. I'm out with 10 to 3. I'm going to bring my ID. Thank you so much, man. All right. Talk soon. Thank you. Thank you. We hit another Paris. <laughs> Let's get it! <laughs> you guys know it. Four pairs. Put in that footwork, my friends. Put in that footwork. You know, I was worried. I was worried because I entered with this phone. And sometimes, sometimes this phone, I can't even, I can't open it. So I get the call and I was worried. Oh my God, this is nuts. So we hit another, we hit a, so two size 11s, two 9.5s, scoop. We're scooping them up here. You guys know it. Four freaking pairs. I'm glad you guys got to witness that. I was actually, I was, I was concerned about, I was concerned about uh, uh, like if I was going to get any more calls for the remainder of the day, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to have both, both my phones up here charged. And if we hit them, we, we freaking hit them. So I'm glad you guys got, I got to witness that. Um, Scoopy scoop. You guys know when we put in that full work. Um, I just want to be a testament to you guys. You guys can do it too. Appreciate you all. Appreciate all the support. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, whew. It's, it's getting hot here. <laughs> you, you, you saw that smile on my face. I'm like, <laughs> we're picking this up. <laughs> we're picking this up. <laughs> and this is, this, this is why it's like, you know, if you get the call, like pick up the damn phone. I remember uh, last year, I, uh, well, when the military black force, I can't forget this. I can't, I can't, I can't, un, I can't unforget the fact that I, I didn't pick up a call for the military black force in a 9.5. Like that actually happened to this guy. So, Hey, just letting you guys know, only got one of the pairs a AF one Tiffany, but I am, I am not an AF. Well, Hey man, just sell it. I would wait a little bit. I'd wait, I'd wait a little bit. I think that, I think the Tiffany's are, are a decent hold. Um, you guys know what we put in that footwork. Uh, I'm excited to compare and, you know, really decide, you know, what, because like for me, when I do double ups for, for this, for example, God, thank you. Oh, I'm so, so thankful. Uh, when I do double ups and stuff like this, I really pick like the best pair. We mix and match the sneakers or whatever, you know, sometimes they're not all made in the same factory. Sometimes they are. And then I stash away like the better looking pair, you know, that's the double up. The double up is I, I don't want to wear the one that's, that's the better looking one. I'd rather rock. The one that's kind of like maybe like the slightly fugly looking one. And then we we still have like the best pair saved in the collection, you know. That's kind of what we do over here. Uh um yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still I'm just laughing over here because this is like like I was like, man, I wonder if we can hit like four out of the, the 13. That's pretty damn good. Four, four out of 13. Sheesh. It's a nice pair. Yeah, hey, we, we still, guys, we're still going to be live tomorrow. We're still going to try on sneakers. We're going to full send this. We're going to full send this, okay? Um, and, 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 you know, shout out to all you guys rocking with me in the building over here. Hopefully you get good quality. Yeah, here's the thing. I, I, I don't know if I want to be that guy that's, like, picking up my pair and then, because some people are going to do it tomorrow. Some people are going to get their pair, you know, going to go pick it up, and they're going to, like, inspect it, and they're like, hey, do you guys got another pair in the back? Like, I don't know. For me... The fact I secured four pairs, like I, I, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm gonna get my pair. I'm just gonna and I'm gonna leave. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And if it's like bad quality, okay, fine. I'm, I'll resell. I'll resell on aftermarket, or I'll figure out what to do with it. You know. Um. But I, I, I'm probably most likely gonna be be rocking the pair that's like not as good quality. That's just the plan. Okay. That's the plan. Um. But I hope. I hope all of it comes and it's all good quality. We shall see. That's what I'm gonna be doing on the stream tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna be unboxing four pairs and I'm going to show you guys each of them each of the quality all of my my in, initial thoughts of the drop every I mean we're going to be live for the drop but we're going to have you know we're going to have the stream in the evening 7 p.m pst for anybody new we're going to review the sneakers and then I'm going to show you my concerns on all my pairs uh if there are any concerns and you know, I'm going to show you what I like about it too uh, you got AJ you got HA3 uh WCR today uh Sorry, WCR, where, where, where is that? Where is that? Um, love it. Okay, okay. Um, 
I think that's at uh God, God, God. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember what WCR is. Sorry, sorry if I'm blanking over here, but yo, congrats. Congrats. Uh congrats on that. I I I, I hope it was a good good a good quality beer. Uh, shout out shout out to RO in the building, that's for sure. Um man, I'm still like I'm riding on this 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 W train over here, like just wave of W's flying my way. Uh, we, we didn't miss a call today. We picked up every single phone phone call, you know. Um, so, yeah, hey, we we just doing it. We are just doing it. Thank you for all the support, guys. Literally, this uh, this this community means the world to me. I hope you guys. Uh, white Cement Reimagine. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Uh, I, I got you, got you. God, I'm like, I'm like, what? I was like, is that a store? Like, what is that? Sorry. AJ3 White Cement Reimagine. Okay. Because I, I believe certain people were just calling it like the, the, the white cement, you know, white cement with like WC3. I've been seeing all these different names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Like, yeah, you yeah, have to understand. At the tail end of my day and after riding this wave of Ws, I don't even know where my mind is at anymore. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, is, are, is am I going to get another one? It's like, do, do they not want to sell this to somebody else? It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm on this, like, I'm on this high right now. I'm on this W high. Um... And uh, like you'll see the proof tomorrow in the pudding. Like once I show you guys all, all the pairs we scooped up, uh, because I, I don't, uh, Ernest, you're gonna do uh, three phones tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna full send it larger sizes. That's the plan. Um, I might do one phone, uh, a 9.5, and then the other two I'll probably do like a size 12 of anything. Uh, the reason why I wanted to get in hand tomorrow larger sizes, you know, the size 11s, is because those are best uh, to sell same day uh, in terms of higher profit m margins. Uh, Aro says, sorry, I am Asian. Uh, so like, you can say, man, it's all good. I I'm Asian too. You know, I may not look Asian, but you know, yeah, I'm from Philippines. So it's all good, man. All good in the hood here. Um, yeah. So shout out to all you guys rocking with me in the building. So tomorrow. Okay. <sighs> Whew, okay. I want to take two steps back here. Okay. Cause it's like, like, it's a, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. It's been a crazy day for, for, for me. Okay. Despite the, the despite the, the shit show that happened online with the sneakers pass. Um, I mean, obviously I am very fortunate to have done, put in the footwork. And I just wanna let this let this be known for any future releases. Look, if you have an opportunity to, to, to carve out time within your day to go to the store, sign up, it's like put as many entries, get help from other people too, definitely helps. Now, for tomorrow's drop, okay? A couple things I wanna recommend, okay? Um, I would, I would recommend updating your sneakers app. Okay. I, and I know, I know that probably wasn't the best move for today's release for the sneakers pass, but I would update your sneakers app right now or early tomorrow. Make sure you have that uh, as a line item. Okay. Also make sure, make sure you got money in the bank. Okay. Make sure you have money in your card. Your cards are good to go. Last thing I want is like, you know, you guys to try with a card and the card is like, you don't have enough on the card. Okay. It, trust me, this happens. It's overlooked. Okay. So make sure on your sneakers app, just look through it, okay? And what I typically do is typically I put myself as female on sneakers app, okay? And the reason why is sneakers is notorious for giving more Ws to females, okay? For those that don't know that, okay? Put yourself and do the conversion, okay? Because female size 11 is my 9.5, so do the size conversion already, okay? So that before you purchase, you can see, is it my actual size? The last thing I want is for you guys to put yourself as female on the app and then you purchase the wrong size, okay? So trust me, it's, it's, it's one of the best known secrets that Nike tends to give more Ws to women. It's, I don't know what it is, okay? Um, so I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, from Taiwan, love you guys. Hey, appreciate it. Well, thank you for rocking with us. I was talking, uh, I, you know, in one of my, one of my team meetings uh, th this week, uh, they were asking, if you could travel to a destination this year, where would you want to go? And, and the first place I came to mind was Taiwan. I, I want to visit Taiwan. I, I do. Uh, I know there's a skateboard scene there. I, you know, I, I have a couple friends from Taiwan. I think Taiwan's awesome. So shout out to Taiwan and everybody viewing from Taiwan. Shout out to RO. Uh, me tomorrow morning is going to be insane, especially if the release on sneakers goes wrong. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to lose their mind tomorrow. It's going to be insane. And this is why, even if I didn't participate in sneakers tomorrow, I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I got my pairs. I'm, I'm all like, whoo, we, do, we dodged a bullet, okay? But we're still going to try. We are still going to try. We're going to full send it, okay? Um, because there's some money to be made, you know? And like, look, anything we hit on sneakers, I mean, you know, 9.5, 9 I'm going to ins inspect my pairs. But anything larger, 
like I, then that just means I can go I can go I can go to town and sell sell the pairs that I have. These I think these are going to be decent long term holds. I'm talking I'm talking like a year a year and a half, okay? Because the trajectory if you look on StockX, if you look at the fire red threes, okay, it's such a slow uphill trajectory. It's slow. It's not like a spike, okay? Now tomorrow there's going to be a spike, okay? I'm saying. 40 to maybe $80 on the aftermarket you can make depending on who you're selling it and how you're selling it, okay? Highly recommend do not sell on the apps, okay? I know there's like StockX is doing like, you know, less fees or whatever, less 50% off seller fees and all that stuff. It's to get you guys to sell on their apps. Trust me, you're not going to make much money doing that. Find in person. If you can sell in person or on eBay or whatever, you know, like right now, the fact that I know I got pairs lined up, I should already make some lists. I should already make some lists on eBay, like pre-listing my pair. I should do that, okay? But I'm probably not gonna do that because we're live and we're doing we're busy doing other stuff. You know what I mean? Uh yeah, hope we're gonna we're gonna get the shoe. I'm gonna show you guys the shoe tomorrow, okay? We'll talk about the quality issues and all the little finite details and how the release went. Because for me, as a sneakerhead and as a sneaker content creator here, I don't just talk about how the online thing went. I talk about how in person went. How did it, were there people lined up outside the store? What was it like? You know, how many pairs was I able to get? You know, um, uh, Carrington, are the GS pairs a draw too? I'm not seeing it on your app, man. That's a good question. I believe I I believe um, I believe the GS is most likely going to be a Leo drop. I I do I do think so. Uh, it's not necessarily saying that over here. Um, but if you are going for GS, if you really want to get GS, I would join up on some contests. I believe, uh, well, the benefit of getting it from sneakers is you can return if quality issues are really bad. If you do end up hitting here on Stash, they do happen to still have this contest on Stashed SF over here. I don't believe you can return this um, if you do happen to hit. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, from everything that we know and see, ready for these tomorrow that's for sure and best of luck to everybody uh and shout out to all the 13 in the building guys if you could take a moment if you guys are enjoying the channel and everything i had to show and speak about today um you know feel free to smash that like button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to the channel uh we've literally been covering sneaker content and fashion and all that fun stuff literally since january 2022 like we're very serious about this we take this stuff very seriously we want to help the community as best we can. Like we care about the community because we know what it's like to be on the other end wanting to get these sneakers and not really knowing how to get it or heavily just relying on sneakers. There are many, there are going to be plenty of other options tomorrow. I think another good option is going to be Hibbit. The moment that that drop happens at 7 a.m., Apple Bay, okay? That's going to be another full sender, okay? So I would recommend doing that. And then all your standard places are going to have it, you know, your JD Sports, your Finish Line, all that, all that stuff. All those places are going to have them. And Foot Locker, I don't recommend going to Foot Locker or Bot Locker. Bot Locker's uh, Foot Locker is probably going to be all botted up. Um, I think you're, I think so. This is typically how I, I go about it. You want to try first in order, Hibbit first, Apple Pay. You want to go real quick there, Sneakers second. Get your entries in real quick on Sneakers. And then I would try your luck on Finish Line, JD Sports, and some of these other these other apps online. I mean, these these these. I would try these other sites. That's how I typically go about it. Now we're not the biggest resellers here. Okay, I'm just gonna be real. We're 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 kind of collectors in a way. Like we love sneakers. We collect sneakers here. I'm very selective of what I keep in my collection. Okay, I may have shown you guys in the past on certain streams that I've had like four pairs of this or three pairs of that. But I've narrowed down my collection to maybe having like one to two pairs of certain items and stuff. I mean. I only have so much space here to stock all this stuff, you know. Uh, we don't hang on to everything, but uh, I really want to make the remainder of the year, I want to be more cautious on what I'm buying. I want to have more grails in my collection, and I want to let go of certain, certain pairs that, you know, no longer serve me. Or, you know, we got the content. Cool. Nobody's talking about the sneakers anymore. Done. We can sell them on the aftermarket. Uh, DTLR, uh, DTLR is a good one if you're fast enough. Okay, Car Carrington. Shout out to Carrington uh, for letting us know that. But, um... I don't believe GS pairs. I think GS pairs are going to be a Leo. You want to know why? You want to want to know why they're going to be a Leo tomorrow? It's because sneakers wants them to go. They want them to go quick. Okay. And what better way than doing a Leo drop? Okay. Um, 
yeah, so I mean that's kind of that's kind of where that's kind of where we're at. Okay, uh, I'm double checking over here if there is anything else that I should mention. Feature just closed. Stash SF still up. Uh, detailer might be a good place to go, as 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 he mentioned. I'm on my social status are still live if you do want to join and participate in those contests. And clothing is already up is still live as well, but we'll be closing in I believe three to four hours from now. Now, mind you, if you do participate in end clothing, there's going to be a little bit of a premium because you're going to spend a little bit more for shipping. So just know that if you just really want to hit on a pair, uh, feel free to do that. But you're probably going to spend an additional twenty to thirty dollars on top of that regular price tag. Okay, so just know that. Uh, as I said here, okay, some of them are still live, some are have already closed. Don't sleep. Best of luck. Let's get after it. Is what I always mention. Okay, uh, as you saw on Tuesday. Now you might be wondering, Ernest, how did you get four pairs? Well, on Tuesday. I ran and I did all of this. I went to Chic. I went to JD Sports, even though JD Sports closed early, unfortunately. Shoe Palace, we just literally just got the call right now. Finish line. So we hit here, 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 and then also here. Boom. Put in the footwork. Um, yeah, that was literally my Tuesday and Wednesday. And it's like, look, I'm going to reap the rewards tomorrow. But I did all the work yesterday, okay? Uh, but yeah, good luck to each and every single one of you guys tomorrow. We will be going live. I want to be up early, somewhat early. I typically go live at about 6.30 a.m., but we will be going live a little bit earlier if you guys want to join up. 6.30 a.m., we're going to have coffee in hand. We'll do cheers up at about 6.15, and then we'll just hang out. We'll hang out till the drop itself, you know, till the madness hits. Tomorrow's going to be crazy. Tomorrow's gonna be a movie, guys. I know it. Tomorrow's gonna be a movie. I mean, like, like even if I don't hit on any more, like it's like it's gonna feel like a movie to, to for me because I need to make sure I get all my pairs. Uh, well, chic. I need to pick it up by one, uh, and then all, all the other three places I need to pick it up before three o'clock. Otherwise, it's I, I I snooze it or lose it, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at finish line 10 a.m. We're gonna chic right after at 11. Like literally, I have it all planned out in terms of where I'm going. Nice kicks after and boom, you understand. Well, I'm 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 hitting I'm hitting a shoe palace. I'm very fortunate that everything I hit is within reach. It's like I don't need to travel too far. I don't need to jump on a Bart ride. I don't need to get on a train. Even if I did go to Saramonte and I did go to uh, I did go to uh, what was it uh, Stonestown as well was another place. Like you know a couple of places I really traveled to 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 get out there and put more more entries. I, I'm sure I could have went further and put more entries in, but look, it's all good. I think we, uh, I, I think, come on, man, like what, four, four pins is good. Like that's, that's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money to spend in one day. Um, uh, hell yeah, you need to put in the full work. Yeah. Waiting now for the Air Max Big Bowl. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's going to be a good one. I'm excited to see that for sure. Let me actually double check. No, you want to know what, guys, you want to know what I'm really excited about? I'm really excited for these. Shit. Once these come, oh man. So. I want to talk about this real quick, okay, while I have you all here. Now, for these, these are not going to be easy, okay? Pause. Take that in. It's not going to be easy for these. A lot of resellers and a lot of collectors are going to come out for the woodwork on this, even if they're not skateboarders. You want to know why? This is an amazing colorway. You got that nice gum sole on these, okay? These are dropping pretty much in about, uh, I believe, yeah, ne believe next week, you know? So a lot of skate stores so again skate stores in your vicinity follow them on the instagrams okay follow them please so that you're aware when they're doing their drops and stuff like that some certain places are going to do donation food drives and stuff like that okay because you're supporting the community people who can't even cop sneak who you know can't even afford sneakers let alone can't even afford food so it's nice that certain stores certain skate stores are doing things for the community such as deluxe such as atlas you know they do certain things for the community damn sarah monte mall is still popping used to go to that mall a lot oh really yeah no i've been going to sarah monte really just because they do happen at that shoe palace which i believe we did hit on we hit on one sneaker there not too long ago it was oh yeah we hit on the uh oil green we hit, we hit on the oil green uh size 9.5 men's uh size 11 women's uh, over there and it was the only it was the only pair that i was able to hit in my size for the oil greens so shout out to Shoe Palace and Sarah Monte, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting mall, if anything. You know, we we we've been putting in the footwork because uh we we got to. Hey bro, hit every skate shop you can go. Yeah, just call. I mean, you don't want to bombard them with calls, just follow them on Instagram. You can probably even message them on Instagram, but just look. If they post it, okay, cool, join up. That's it. Best of luck. Get more people to join in for these two if you can. Uh these are gonna be hard. Trust. I mean. 
these are these go hard okay but these are going to be hard to hit is what i'm trying to say okay so as you guys know just pay attention pay close attention to these these are amazing this is definitely worthy of uh scooping up now you might be wondering what's the main difference between this this is an sb what makes it an sb so what i the based on the research i've done and i'll do a review of these if i do happen to scoop them up in hand we're hoping to hit these and get them in the building but this nice suede upper for sure okay the double stitch toe, toe cap as well and then apparently this this leather on top apparently is it's made better for skating okay that's from what I'm, I'm seeing now would i skate something like this i don't really think fours are designed to skate but i think they've molded this in a way where it is a, it's got the gum bottom skateboarders love that gum bottom as well I'm not saying these can't be skated. I just like, it's not my first pick when it comes to like, I've been skating for over 20 years. I, this isn't like the first, like, I don't even think about, oh, I want to, I want to wear Jordan 4 when I'm skateboarding. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that the, the, the material's a little bit more on that softer side, you know what I mean? More bendy, you know, for when it comes to actually feeling the bottom of your board when you flick, when you flick it, you know what I mean? So, uh, it would be nice if they did something like that with these, but um, I mean, well, that's what they've done with these, okay? I don't know how the netting is going to rub against the grip tape. That might be a little weird, but um, hey, we'll see. We'll see. We're hoping to scoop these up. I, I don't have I don't have any intent to double up on these. If we do happen to double up, that would be amazing. But like, I mean, just to hit on one of these, I think it's going to be a, a, a godsend. That's for sure. Shout out to the 14 in the building. Uh, appreciate appreciate all you guys rocking with me. Smash that like button. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having an amazing time. Again, we just shoot in it for what it is. I just wanted to touch on the the really weird sneakers pass, which we couldn't even enter. It was really, really weird. Like I kept clicking this and I you couldn't. Anyway, I don't want to I don't want to relive this. It was pretty bad. Update your apps for tomorrow. We should we shouldn't have updated our apps for today. But who's to know who's to know who, who, who's in charge here it's kind of like this drop and it's kind of like everybody's looking around like hey uh hey who's in charge here like uh, you guys gonna like let us actually like give us a chance here because you you literally just created a mob of like f f fiery anger like like this is gonna be a mob of people tomorrow on, on, on sneakers that are literally gonna just like come out with their pitchforks like we we want our sneakers <laughs> we we want these like yeah <laughs> uh tops and bottoms has a raffle yo shout out to mr old school uh is this a draw or a leo that's a good point i believe from what i know this is a draw it's gonna be a leo for this okay anybody in the chat let me know if i stand corrected but i think for them to play a little bit more fair i believe this is going to be a 10 minute draw let me know if anything if you know of any news that it's not okay because i heard some talks earlier i'm talking much earlier like a couple days ago that this was going to be a Leo drop. Uh, but as far as I know, for tomorrow's drop, it's going to be a draw. Okay? Now, if it changes, don't come back to my channel saying, hey, well, you said it was going to be this. I'm just saying it for what I know today, right now. Okay? Based on what I know, this is going to be a draw. So that's a little bit more fair for everybody. So it gives everybody enough time to join. Not like two minutes and then they're sold out. This is going to give everybody more of an opportunity to join. But I believe for the GSs, this is going to be a Leo drop. Uh, that's a very good question. Yeah, draw. Thanks for clarifying. Uh, and, and gonna thanks for asking that because I'm I'm gonna be real. I was kind of holding my tongue. I'm like, God, I really hope nobody asks me about that because I'm not 100% sure. Like I'm like, I'm like 70% sure it's gonna be a draw. But I mean, you know, if Adrian Sanchez says it's gonna be a draw, and other streamers have said it's gonna be a draw, it's most likely gonna be a draw. I I, I don't want to admit to the fact like I'm coming on live like as as a you know as a sneaker uh, cr you know content creator here, admitting like I know everything. I, like I don't I don't. And also, you should know sneakers changes stuff last minute. Like today, they changes this last minute that they're not gonna let anybody join. <laughs> you know, like it was like they literally got everybody excited about it. Like oh my god, did you hear there's gonna be a sneakers bass? Everybody goes on and they're like all trying when they're phone. They're like, oh, humdy dum. Okay, just I gotta wait for the thing. <laughs> and then it's just massive, like you can't even enter it. Here's an L to your face. Um, but it, it's fine. Okay. Let's let's like let's give tomorrow the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Um, I mean, you know why I'm not angry is because we're we're live and I'm picking up calls and I'm like, yeah, I'll pick them up. Like, so so this isn't the rub in anybody's face. I'm just like, like I'm I'm working here, but we also like we put in the work. We we already, we already did the heavy lifting running around on Tuesday 
to make sure that we we have a, we have a day tomorrow, like a big day, okay? Um, uh, but but you know, again, for anybody who's already hit, whether you hit on EA or you hit on on you hit on the shock drop, congrats. And now, from what I've heard, those pairs aren't the best. Really depends. Some some people did get good pairs, but they're also think about it. It, it does make sense that sneakers would just kind of let the the ones who quality issues go first because it's like it's like oh well you oh, well you you can't really complain. You got the exclusive access one, so you should be happy with your pair. I, I don't think that's cool. I think I think it's like look, you're 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 paying two hundred ten dollars, paying two hundred ten dollars for your pair. Like you should get a clean pair, you know. Um, you gonna get a W? Yeah, yo, everybody in chat, let me know where you're from. If you got a dub already, and where you got your dub, I'm curious. I'm curious. I might do drop drop a poll here. But um, uh, uh, again, the 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 whole purpose of me doing what I do here is to show you guys like, like, it's no difference between me and you guys. I got a phone. I got a. I got. I got data. I got the internet. I got all this stuff all accessible to me. I'm literally no different than you guys. You know, I might have a little bit more experience because I've like. I've been into sneakers for quite a long time. Uh, are the pandas going to be a Leo? Is 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 what uh, dark dark metal says? Yeah, I, I believe I, I believe all pandas are, are typically Leo drops. Yo, bacon, what's going on? Shout out to you. Uh, we're we're all gonna get that dub. Yeah, we're all, yeah yo. I'm spreading out all yeah. Mister Old School and I are spreading out all the love over here, and all the luck out to you guys. That's for sure. Let me actually go ahead and just uh, let me actually just jump into the uh, let me just jump into the chat over here. Let me just bring up the chat, and uh, and and yeah, we're we're hyped, we're blessed. That's for sure. You guys know it. I'm gonna drop some. Uh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna uh, what is it? I'm gonna sh uh, spread some. Uh, let me see. Where's that? Where's that freaking uh, clover? Come on, clover. Where you at? Drop some clovers in the chat for everybody. Yo, drop some clovers. Four leaf clovers in the chat. Um, Spreading that luck to all you guys. Uh, I'm new in a sneakers Nike app releases. Gotcha. Okay, so you said you're going for pandas. I'm trying to remember exactly when the pandas are dropping. I don't believe the pandas are dropping tomorrow, guys. It doesn't make sense that the pandas would drop tomorrow. But uh, typically on Nike, yeah, it's a Leo drop. It's most likely a Leo. I, I don't. I cannot. I cannot tell you the last time pandas were ever a draw. I can't. I, I can't. They're always a Leo drop, and they're always very botted and very hard to hit. So you gotta. You got to enter and you got to enter quickly. I'm saying within the first minute of the drop, you got to put in your entry, okay? First minute to two minutes, put the damn entry in, okay? Um, and, uh, and and yeah, hey, consider, if you guys are anybody new in the chat, uh, Dark Metal, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you like this sort of content, we're here to help as many people out as possible. If you're new to sneakers, that's what we do. <laughs> I'm like, you got, you came in the right place, you know? We're uh, we're here as you see we we uh, we cop we cop sneakers, and we try to help out as many people as possible for sure. You know what I mean? Like we we um we care about the community. Yes, pandas eleven on the Nike app. Gotcha. Okay, thanks thanks Manny. So I didn't realize they're doing pandas tomorrow as well. Man, tomorrow's gonna be such a nutty day. Okay, so uh, pandas are dropping seven p.m. PST same day as White Cement. Are you freaking serious? My God, why 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 are they doing this to us, guys? Okay, well, the more you know, the more you know. So, okay, so pandas, if you want to go for pandas, I know pandas aren't doing as crazy on aftermarket, but if you guys want to scoop up pandas, they're dropping on Nike app, not sneakers. It's a separate app, okay? So just just, just know that. Same, I really wish they were, no, wait, 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 wait. You said pandas at 11, isn't that 8 o'clock? I believe that's 8 o'clock. This is probably going to be one hour apart. It doesn't make sense that Nike would do it at the same time. Nike's going to do this. This is a big release at 7, okay? And then I believe if you're saying 11 on Nike, that's 8, that, that's, you're saying 11, 11 a.m. EST is 8, is 8 o'clock. So, yeah, um, I don't think it's, uh, dark, dark Metal, I don't believe it's going to be the same time. It does not make sense. I, I don't think that's going to be fair for everybody. Um, they're most likely going to do the Pandas, so, you know, for anybody. Uh, you got EA Access, Ernest, and my pair's good. Let's freaking go, man. Yo, congrats, bro. I love to hear it. Uh, yeah, I think you mean 11, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, one hour after, yep, okay, guys, for everybody that doesn't know, now you know, 8 a.m. PST tomorrow, the panda drop, okay? Now, uh, I don't know even know if I'm going to be sticking around. I might be running around town already. Well, no, mo I think most, 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 most of my stores open at about 10, so maybe we'll be live. We'll see. So, yeah, um, yep, you tried getting the crafts uh, on, on Feb, 
Oh, in Feb. I uh, got you, got you. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, and then I know they did a shock drop yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday or was it on Wednesday? They did the shock drop for the oil greens. I believe it was Wednesday. Yeah, oil greens and then also the uh, the photons. The photons aren't doing too too well in the aftermarket. I, I'm not shocked. There's no netting. Like, it's not a bad colorway. I don't mean to come off as a hater. I rewatched my video on my rating. I gave it an eight out of ten. It's not a bad sneaker. Okay. But we don't even have a pair anymore. We we let them go. We let them go because well, number one, it was a size nine. I can't fit a size nine. I'm a nine point five, and then the other one was a was it was a was a seven year old. You know, so we just yeah, we just we we let them fly. See you later. Uh, and we didn't even try for them. We didn't even try for them because like when I when, on Wednesday when they dropped the oil greens, I think the oil greens are more worth worthy of a double up to me than going for the photons so we just we held off the photons i didn't even try for the photons uh you took two w's yesterday on the dunks the black suede and the orwoods hey congrats gonna that's awesome uh are you selling them you keeping them for the personal what's the deal i'm very curious i yo we got zach is in the building yo how you doing what's going on uh oh they changed the time on the dunks it used to be 7 p.m i'm glad they changed it and this is why you guys gotta know sneakers runs on its own time and calendar they can change things whenever Trust me. Now, they're most likely not going to change the drop tomorrow. But, I mean, they certainly changed this. This was supposed to drop much, much earlier today. I think people were calling that it was going to drop at, like, 11.15. And then they're like, maybe it's going to be 12.15. That didn't happen. And they ended up dropping it much later, okay? Much later. Which uh, I believe was, like, closer to, was it 5 or something like that? It was just much later in the afternoon. I don't know. I didn't, and so like, I didn't bother going live or anything. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to stay focused and stay in my lane. We're going to try. And it just nothing worked. So tomorrow we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to be back with vengeance. That's for sure. Just like most of you guys too. Okay. Uh, you guys let me know too. Uh, who absolutely needs these tomorrow? Who has zero pairs lined up tomorrow? Like, let me know in the chat. I want to know. I'm very curious. If we got Godspeed, Worth going to my local Nike store in the morning, not an outlet. It's a, it's really some nice shop that always ha has hot releases. I don't know if they're going to have this tomorrow. I feel like they might have something like this Sunday. Sunday, sometimes people who didn't pick up their pairs, because sometimes people who hit on sneakers sneakers pass, they're going to try and they're, they're going to hit on some other thing. And then maybe they're not going to pick up their sneakers pass. Trust me, it happens, okay? Now, I think it's kind of crazy that people want to do this. But sometimes there are leftover pairs, okay? This happened for me with the Midnight Navy Force. They did sneakers pass on Saturday. I live very close to Nike, one of, one of like the main San Francisco Nikes. And I showed up Sunday in the morning, ran up. They had like 10 pairs, 10 pairs, like 10 pairs. They had 10 pairs. They had a size 13. They had, uh, I believe, one size 10, three size nines. I scooped up the size 10. I was like, boom, boom, boom. we're in business, you know? Um, I know that the I know that the Navy uh, the, the the Navy fours aren't doing that well. The Midnight Navy fours aren't doing too well in the aftermarket. But this was like this was like the same week of the actual release, you know. So who knew what they were going to do in the aftermarket? I'm just saying, it does help to it's like position yourself right. Okay. Um, me, I only have superstars. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. You know. Hey, whether you have one sneaker, zero sneakers. Or a hundred sneakers? You're welcome here. That's that's all I'm gonna tell you. Uh, but Godspeed. I would say. I don't know if it's worth going to your Nike, your local Nike store. I would probably f try to find a shop that you know is gonna drop some of these. You know, either you know, um, man, maybe not a. Most shops did raffles. That's the thing. You know, for 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 these. Um, if you do happen to have an undefeated, get in line if you can. You know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I know for a fact. If I really, really, really wanted a fifth pair, I'm just gonna be real. Uh, then I would just like I'd put my chair out right now and like you know start camping out over at Undefeated because Undefeated will be releasing. That's if I want a guaranteed fifth pair. But I'd much I'd much prefer to be live and get, give it a solid shot on on sneakers. I mean, it's not like I can't try in line for sneakers. It's just for three devices, I can only really do two. You know what I mean? Uh, thoughts on Dunk Low, uh, Gardenia? Let me see that. I don't really know. I, I don't think I believe I've seen this. Um, but yeah, I'm just shooting in for what it is. Oh, this one is so sick. Yeah, I like this one. This one's clean. 
We can touch on that. Give me a second, uh, Dark Metal. Uh, Godspeed says, I'm torn. Uh, you're torn between the huge mall because of the raffles. Did you join on any raffles? And and if so, why? why and if not, why not? Uh, thanks for replying. Yeah, hey, for sure. No. Oh, you're in Frisco area, uh, uh, Frisco TX area. You know, I would probably just drive your big, try the big mall. Yeah, you know, you might have a shot. Now, maybe the larger sizes are gonna be are gonna be tough, tough to get, but um, it's always worth a shot. It is always worth a shot, especially on the day after after the main release. There are, there, trust me, I know this sounds crazy. There's gonna be some people that don't pick up their pairs. I, I'm just gonna be real, okay? Some people didn't want to get three pairs. They just wanted one. And they, you know, they put a lot of entries in and then they hit on sneakers. And they're like, well, I'll just wait in my house. It's going to come on the way. Um, they're not crazy like me and want to get three pairs so you can inspect which is the best one and all that stuff. Again, like we're sneaker heads, but we're, we're also content creators, but we're also collectors. You know, we're, we're all the things. We're all the things here. That's what we do. Um, but let me bring this up real quick. Uh, I'm happy to touch on this. So this is the... Dunk Low Gardenia. Okay, so this is a sneaker. Uh, it's an, it's a, I believe, is this an SB sneaker? It's an SB sneaker that's dropping pretty soon. It's very interesting. But for those that don't know, I used to play badminton a long time ago. I'm talking, it feels like a century ago. Um, but in the Philippines, I used to play badminton. And badminton is such an amazing sport. It's like, you, you gotta, like, you gotta move. You, it really gets you to freaking move. And I, I haven't touched a, uh, I haven't played with a you know a badminton racket in so long. Look at this price tag, eight hundred eighty-five dollars. Uh, you you did and you lost all the raffles in store pick. I oh, got you. Okay, well hey, at least you're trying. Okay, at least you're trying. Um, man, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend going to Nike tomorrow. I would go to Nike the day after. Your best bet, honestly, after hearing everything you just told me, shoot it for what it is online. I'm talking Nike, try Hibbit, try Finish Line, JD Sports. Like there, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of sites and, and opportunity. Detail R, like just try online. Try online. Online's gonna be your your best bet. If, like honestly, honest to God, if, if I didn't win anything in line in store or whatever, even if I did the footwork, I'd be so dialed in online. I'd be like, we gotta get, we gotta make this happen. And sneakers isn't gonna be my first choice. You gotta find another way. You gotta find another way, and what I would recommend is probably those other places, Hibbit, Finish Line, JD Sports, Detail Art. Like, there's many other places online that are gonna be a good shot. And then also, did you get to join your raffles as well? DSG still has the raffle, okay? Uh, Stashed SF still has to happen to ha have the raffle as well. You still have plenty of time and an opportunity, okay? You got a couple more hours, not a whole lot of time, but there's still chances to hit on these, okay? Uh, let me actually just pull up that. Uh, yeah, this is it. So. I hope that helps. Do you enter app app? Do you enter raffle with a uh, computer or mobile? I think it really doesn't matter. You can enter with both for stashed, for stashed SF. Let me just go ahead and just drop this in the in the in the in the chat, uh, for all you alls. Okay, let me actually just find that. Uh, where are you guys? Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well stay home in your and make it happen. Yeah, the box, uh, the special box for this is crazy. Okay. Um, where is this? Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Uh, these are clean. There's a lot of SBs, exciting SBs that are coming. Like we're we're here for it. We are here for it. you guys. Know what? I'm like I'm like that one of the SB coppers here. You guys know we uh we full send it. Okay, we put in the rounds. I like the idea that this has some some rope on it. It's kind of cool. This back piece looks pretty much like you know the shuttlecock uh, that you happen to have over here. Um, these are clean. These are clean. I didn't think this is worthy of a scoop for sure. And considering what they're doing on the aftermarket, jeez. Now, I don't think they're going to do crazy numbers like $800, but I do see this holding pretty damn good. You see over here, it says fly. I think the material on this is very interesting. And you happen to have this like this back. It looks like grass in a way. I don't know. It's cool. It's nice. It's different, you know. Um, and you happen to have a staple here too. That's that's really weird. Okay, you got a staple in the back. You got some rope laces and some regular laces as well. Excited. Excited to see what these are going to do. That's for sure. Uh, did enter on DSG. Best of luck. Who do you feel has the best app? Mm. Water break. Uh, man, that's a good question. Who do I think has the best app? Wait, are you talking like for, for, for what? For contests or for for like to, to, to try tomorrow, you know? I think for contests, there's no best app. It's either you hit or you don't. We signed up for these on DSG and like I didn't even know I won and I checked my email I was like oh we actually hit we hit we hit on another pair 
Um, and then that pair came and it was a little on the moldy side. And I'll, let me sh share that with you. We got a we got a moldy. We got a. This isn't the moldy pair. This is like this is one of my first pairs. This was the third pair, which came moldy. I don't know. I don't know how this even happens, but uh, yeah, this was mold, and I was like, I, I got to get this out of my house. So, so we, uh, you know, we're we're sending this back to DS, DSG. Like, look, we hit, we keep it moving, okay? But the reason why I'd rather try as many sites is because then you have more opportunity, and some of these places have free returns. DSG free returns. If you're able, if you do happen to have, I think you can either ship it back to them or return it in store. Hopefully, hopefully. These white cements don't have any issues with mold, okay? I don't think they will. But I know they have issues with uh, the elephant print on the back. Uh, on the back, Like, sometimes it's a little different. This is why we're going to try for multiple pairs, okay? I know not everybody is that fortunate, okay? But tomorrow, like, what I would do if I were you, uh, Godspeed. Join on DSG. Join on over here as well. It just doesn't hurt to join. A lot of these contests are going to end at 12 midnight tonight, okay? So just know that, okay? You just know that. I want to let that, I want to reiterate myself. And then uh, let me actually just double check here. What other contest do we happen to have? Kith app. Join on Kith app as well. I believe Kith is also open until until 12 midnight. Uh, PST, I believe. Um, feature just closed. Ama Manier and Social Status. These two sites, okay? You definitely want to join up on Ama Manier and Social Status. They're still live, but they're going to be closed very 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 soon okay so again i'm just letting you guys know a lot of you guys already joined but there are some new people in the chat that may have not entered so i just want to let that be known appreciate for telling you about stashed just join the raffle yeah yeah i mean look what do you got to lose okay just know stashed has changed their contest okay in the past if you did enter and you want they'll send you an invoice they no longer do that because what a lot of people do is they hit on something maybe not this maybe they'll hit on like this or whatever or something else then they just don't pay the invoice and then they, they don't get the sneakers because they decided they don't no longer want it and then what happens stashed has to keep it in store or they have to find another way to sell it okay so now if you hit on these they're just going to charge your card they just charge your card and then they're going to ship your sneakers okay they're not going to give you an option when the moment you put your card information in and you hit please know they're going to charge your card and they're going to send you the sneakers there's no backing out okay and i believe it is hard to do returns with this place if it's if it's typically a release, an actual release on a special release on a release day such as this, I don't, I don't, I don't think their return policy is that lenient. You might be able to get store credit back, but it really depends. Okay, um, so just know that. Um, again, there's always like if you hit on these, it's kind of a no-brainer. You can always sell it to make more money, right? So I just want to run through that. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Again, I'm here to help the community out because this community is. One of the best communities online, that's for sure. We have a lot of amazing people in the sneaker community uh, that are, you know, good friends of mine and that I, I watch and I support too. So if you haven't already smashed that like button, smash that like button. It definitely helps the channel more than you realize. Uh, wow, we're already an hour and 30 minutes in. Again, I just wanted to go live with you guys. I wanted to just shoot the shit, hang out, talk to you about this miserable sneakers pass that went on today. I know a lot of you guys tried and we couldn't even enter, which was devastating to a lot of us. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I'm super thankful you guys got to witness my my like on stream on stream dub picking up the phone. Thank you to all the sneaker guys for these four pairs. I'm su super super blessed, super freaking blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are going straight to feed. Hey man, I I feel you for sure. I 100% agree with you. These are these are amazing, and a lot of people are excited. But guys, that's pretty much it for the stream today. Okay. Um, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all you guys rocking with me. All 13 of you, all 12 of you rocking with me. Uh, definitely does mean the world to me in more ways than you guys will ever, ever freaking know. So with that being said, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Now, I want to mention this to everybody. The moment we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a pair of sneakers worth $500, okay, for one lucky subscriber so you know if you guys want to find out how that is put post notifications on you know that little bell definitely does help also follow this guy on the interweb over here uh at instagram okay we're pretty much growing um it's crazy how i remember when i started like i believe we were at like 2200 or whatever and now we're over that 2517 so shout yeah stay blessed hey appreciate you carrington rocking here gonna i'm right there with you on these straight going straight to defeat for sure 
But yeah, feel free to smash that like button on the way out. I'm going to play some music here. Follow this guy. I typically repost a lot of my videos after I'm done. You guys know it. We do sneaker content here. We, we cover reviews and expect more edited content the moment we get monetized, which is happening sooner than you guys realize, okay? Trust me. We're probably going to be monetizing about like uh, a month and a half. Uh, no, actually in about one month and a half. So I'm saying, I believe by end of April, we should be monetized if everything's going well. Yo, we got Tamiya for life. Yo, appreciate you as always. Appreciate everybody's rocking with me over here. We just wanted to give you guys all the best information. Tomorrow is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We're going to be here for it. We're going to be live 6 a.m. PST. Feel free to swing on by. Smash that like button while you're at it. Uh, you know, and we're going to also be having coffee in hand. So cheers up to all you guys again before I dip on out of here. Stay hydrated. Don't forget your water. Water's vital to to life. That's for sure. Water is life. You guys know it. But I'm going to go ahead, play some on, play some music. I'll be in the chat for a little bit while that song plays. And then we just, you know, in typical stream fashion, we just dip on out of here. That's what we do. You know, I'm just giving you guys the best information, what I know, and, you know, a recap of today's horrible sneaker fast, which we couldn't even freaking join. Uh, uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow, everybody. Let's get these W's. You know it. Uh, when do you know, uh, when do you know when we will win in stash? Stash will notify you tomorrow. You should know at around drop time, uh, anywhere from seven in the morning to 11, they will let you know. Cause guess what? They're going to charge your card. You can check your bank statements as well. Um, they should roll those W's out. Uh, I would say, uh, sometime within the morning. If you don't hear by 12, then you probably didn't win. Okay. But they're not going to notify you if you lost. So if you won, you'll get notified. They'll charge your card. If you didn't win, you're just going to hear silence. Nothing. All right. But guys, peace out. Love you all. I'll see you very, very soon. Feel free to swing by tomorrow, 6 a.m. PSD, you guys know it. We're always on the grind. We're never going to stop. You guys know it. All right. Talk to you all very, very, very soon. See ya. Much love.